Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rakar Kodash, to the honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ, Bahasham, is in the name of Kodash, is the Holy Spirit. Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring this truth for the sake of Yahweh Shai. Shai. Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom. This is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shai. And the title of the video, Lord Willem, is going to be um, Faith Without Works is Dead. All right. This is starting at Romans chapter 3, verse 27. It says, Where is boasting then? Is it excluded by what law? Of works? Nay but by the law of faith you know so that's it's very important to have faith okay hebrews uh 6 and 11 says uh i believe it's hebrews 6 and 11. let me see here hebrews 6 and hebrews 11. Yeah, Hebrews 11 and 6, it says, but without, let me go to it here. Hebrews 11 and 6, it says, but without faith, without faith, it is impossible to please him, the Most High Yahweh, for he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, that's what Yahweh names me, he is, he exists, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. All right, that's what the Lord is. He's, uh, he's a righteous power, and he's going to reward those that diligently seek him. Okay. Going back to Romans 3. And 20. Uh, it says. Uh, but by the law of faith. Therefore. Therefore we conclude. It says. It says. It says, therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. All right. And, that, and that's what we say. You know, we say that that the uh, that the law can't save you. OK, but at the same time, you know, do we it's going to say at the end of the chapter, you know, uh, though we're not justified by the law, you know, do we then make void the law because we have faith? You know, and it says, God forbid, you know, which it means, hell no, man. All right. It says, we conclude that, it says, therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. All right. So without the works of the law. All right. But th does that mean that, so for an example of that, all right, a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law, you know, so. You know, there's going to be, uh, there's people who are out here that's going to be uh, delivered, you know, uh, and may not have kept the law. Okay. You know, even, even us, you know, we didn't, we haven't kept the law, you know, our, our entire life, you know, we're not even keeping the law perfectly now, you know, but we were justified by our, by our belief, you know, Lord willing, we were part of that number you know, uh, the elect is justified by their belief, you know, not from what they did according to the law, you know, but by our faith, you know, us hearing this word, all right? Uh, let me get this mix. This is Hebrews 4. Starting at one says, let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left of us of entering into his rest. And if you should, should seem to come short of it. All right, it's important to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushua as well. It says, for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. All right, so it was preached unto the believers and the non-believers. It says, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it all right you know so a lot of people hear this word but they don't have that faith you see so and so we're being justified 
you know, by our faith, man. All right. You know, not our works of the law, you know, but 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 by our faith. All right. And we keep the law to the best of our ability. You know, that's showing our faith, man. OK, because what is the Lord coming back to to judge pe these people off of, man? All right. Off of his law. All right. Because it says in uh, first Corinthians six and verse nine, it says, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. All right. What makes you righteous, man? All right. You know, your faith. OK, your works. OK. You know, and you keeping the law to the best of your ability, whether people believe it or not. OK, that that uh, that makes you uh, righteous. All right. If you're uh, if you're a sinner. All right. You know, technically, we all we all are sinners. All right. But we don't willfully sin. OK, you willfully sin and that makes you unrighteous. All right. You breaking the law. All right. You having a bald head. All right, you shaving your beard makes you unrighteous, man. All right, you eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster makes you unrighteous. All right, and, and it makes your it makes your temple defiled, man. Okay, the Lord ain't dwelling within a man that eats pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, that shaves his beard. All right, has dreadlocks. All right, gets a lineup. The Lord is not dwelling within a man like that, man. It says. uh Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. You know, all these are according to what? According to the law. All right. It says these shall not inherit the kingdom of God, man. So you can't be an adulterer, an idolater. All right. You serving these different idols and you think you're going you're gonna to still get beamed up on a chariot. Okay, you're gonna be you're gonna be missile food. That's what you're gonna be. All right, abusers of themselves with mankind. All right, man on man. All right, you think the Lord is gonna you think the Lord is gonna deliver you if you're having sex with another man and you're a man? No, man. It says nor thieves. All right, a thief that goes back to what the kin to, that goes back to the Ten Commandments, man. All right, all these are part of the law. It says uh, nor thieves, nor covetous. Nor drunkards, nor, nor nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Mosai. All right. So all these are, are part of what? Part of the law. All right. So proving that the edge of the law is, is, is important, man. And it's still intact today. It's uh, Romans 3 and 29. It says, is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also the God of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. All right, so the Israelite foreigners, those that, those, those that, uh, that were following the ways of the other nations, okay, but they're coming back to the ways of the Heavenly Father. All right, but and they're indeed Israelites through the through their lineage. It says, yeah, of the Gentiles also, seeing, seeing it is one power which shall justify their circumcision by faith, and uncirc and uncircumcision. Through faith, man. All right. Those that know that they're Israelites and those that don't know that they're Israelites. All right. The Lord is going to deliver both. All right. Through their faith. All right. You may not know that you're Jewish Israelite. He was following the ways of the heathen. Okay. But you heard the word and you believe. So you're justified through your faith. Okay. And also your works, man. Because scripture says faith without works is dead. It says, do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid, yea, we establish the law, man. All right, plain. All right, to establish something, that means you, that means that you do it. This is, uh, this is James chapter 2, verse 17 says, Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may. Say, thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. You see? So, hey, works and faith, they go hand in hand in this thing, man. All right? You can't do one thing without the other. All right? You say you have faith in the Lord, okay? You got to be patient, okay? You say you have faith 
uh, in your how about Shmuel Shai? All right, you're not gonna get a tattoo. Okay, you're not gonna sick. You're not gonna take the C hip. All right, you're not gonna get the. Uh, you're not gonna get the jump shot, man. Okay. Um, this is uh, the book of Baruch, chapter four, verse one. This is the book of the commandment of the Most High, and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. You know, Scripture says the law is like a lamp. Okay. Let me actually grab that. You know, but the law that endureth forever, man. Okay. So these people thinking that that Yahweh Shai came to do away with the law. All right, they are sadly mistaken, man. Sadly mistaken, man. And uh, I said I was gonna get. Uh, yeah, I want that law as a lamp. Uh, Proverbs six. Proverbs six and twenty three. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. You know, we're in this. And we're in a, a a spiritually dark world, man. All right, so we need these uh, these laws as as a uh, as 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 our light, man. As our as our lamp. Um. We we brought this scripture the other day. Let me see. This is Deuteronomy 4, verse 6. Keep therefore and do them. Now, let me start at 5. It says, Behold, I, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as Yahweh by power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. See? Keeping the law, that, that that's what brings forth wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Okay? That's why the law is important, man. It says, We shall hear all these statues and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people, man. Alright? So these law, statutes, commandments is is that's our uh that's our wisdom and, and understanding in the sight of the nations, man. You know, us dealing within the laws of, of Yahweh Bashem Shah. Shai, all right? The other nations, they're like, man, look at, man, these people are are, are wise, all right? Because Yahweh Bashem Shah Shai is wise, all right? You know, having a Sabbath, having a land Sabbath, okay? Not, uh, not mixing fabric. You know, all these different things uh, that, the, that the law tells us to do you know of course we can't keep it all especially in our captivity all right but scripture says we rehearse the righteous acts the righteous acts all right this is a uh, syrac or ecclesiastes 39 and verse 1 it says but he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies man you see First step in, in knowing that you're Israelite is it's about keeping the law, man. All right? Because that's what separates us from these other nations, man. All right? The law, statutes, commandments. It was given unto us. Okay? And unto none other else. No other nation was given these law, statutes, commandments besides the Israelites, these so-called blacks, Hispanics, Seminole, and Native Indians, man. All right? The law was given unto us. That's, that's what makes us holy and separate, man. Nothing else. Okay, the fact that the Lord gave us these laws, the Lord gave us, you know, we are the Lord's inheritance, man. You know, that's what makes us different from these other nations, man. Okay, you know, so these Christians trying to say the law is done away with and, and we don't have to keep the law. We justify, you know, all you have to do is believe on, 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 on sweet J. All right, that that that's not enough man okay there's more to it okay because you can say you believe and but you uh 
you a transvestite out here, man. You believe yet, yet, you yet, uh, you're a man, uh, and you, but you just had surgery to be a woman, but but you believe. So I'm gonna be saved anyway. It don't work like that. I right, says nor the effeminate, man. Okay, so that that, that that's case in point, man. Let me get this Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter fifteen verse twenty it says he he hath commanded no man to do wickedly, neither hath he given any man license to sin. And so it's not okay. Contrary to popular belief, it's not okay to be willfully sinning. And I brought out willfully sinning. This is Hebrews ten and twenty six. It says, "For if we sin willfully." After that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. But a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fear and indignation which shall devour the adversaries. Okay, so if you're going against this law, the laws of of, of, of Yahweh Bashem al Shah, what it says, uh, he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be in an abomination, man. You see, so there's so many cuts, man. Even your prayer shall be an abomination if you turn your ear away from hearing the law. All right, you know. So, but people read the New Testament; they they read Paul's writings. All right, which which brings about a lot of confusion for the for you know. But the uh, Paul's writings they bring about a lot of confusion to those that that don't have the understanding. All right. Here. I believe this is the one that I've been thinking of. This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 10. For his letters say they are weighty and powerful, but his bodily presence is weak and his speech competentable. All right. You know, so the point being that, hey, Paul's letters are are, uh, are weighty and powerful. You know, so an average man or woman, they're not going to be able to understand it. All right. Unless the Holy Spirit is uh, working within you, man. All right, so with that, you know, uh, Lord willing, this video was edifying. You know, we're not saved by the law, okay? But we do have to keep the law to the best of our ability. Keep the high holy days, you know, to the best of our ability, all right? Because we're rehearsing. In the kingdom of heaven, you better believe hey, hey, that's a part of the uh, the new covenant, are going to be keeping the laws perfectly in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, so these laws ain't going nowhere, man. All right, with that, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Until the next lesson, I say Shalom and Ababa Ball. Shalom.